Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered what's out there beyond everything we know? Imagine this. You're standing on a planet so far away, the sun isn't a blazing light overhead. It's just a faint dot, barely distinguishable among billions of other stars. Its warmth hardly reaches the frozen ground beneath your feet. Would that lonely world still belong to our solar system? Or is it a wanderer drifting alone through the dark vastness of space? For a long time, scientists believed the solar system ended after eight planets. But then came bold new theories. What if there's a hidden world out there? A planet nine lurking in the outer darkness, its gravity subtly pulling on icy objects we can barely detect. And even farther out, the Oort cloud, a vast spherical shell of icy mysteries stretching nearly two light years from the sun. No spacecraft has ever touched it. No human has ever seen it. In today's video, we're not just measuring distances. We're on a quest to find the true edge of the sun's influence. How far does the sun's gravitational reach extend before it surrenders to the great ocean of the galaxy? Welcome to Astro, the channel where we tell cosmic stories, explore unanswered questions, stretch the limits of imagination, and look at the universe with fresh eyes. Buckle up. This journey starts right now. Let's begin with a simple yet fascinating truth. Gravity has no limit. From the heart of the sun, invisible waves of gravity ripple outward. They stretch endlessly into space. Yes, they weaken with distance, but they never truly disappear. In theory, a planet could orbit at any distance as long as it moves at just the right speed. Fast enough to avoid falling into the sun, but not so fast that it drifts away forever. But here's the real question. Does reality actually allow that? Picture this. You're floating alone, trillions of kilometers away from Earth. Out there, the sun is no longer the blazing ball of fire we know. It's just a tiny, pale point no brighter than the stars around it. Standing on a planet at that distance, you wouldn't feel its warmth. You wouldn't see your own shadow. You might not even recognize which direction the sun lies. And it's the kind of cosmic loneliness that feels like standing at the edge of a vast star-filled ocean. In the past, scientists believed gravity only worked nearby. But then came Newton and later Einstein. They showed us something remarkable. Gravity doesn't need a medium to travel through, and it doesn't have a sharp boundary. Still, when we talk about stable orbits, something called the Hill Sphere becomes crucial. This invisible bubble marks the region where a celestial body, like the Sun, can hold on to its satellites against the competing pull of other stars, drifting dust clouds, or even gravitational waves rippling through the galaxy. Step outside that boundary and things get messy. Orbits become unstable. Planets can be knocked loose, turning into orphans, no longer bound to their home star. And here's the intriguing part. Even though gravity never truly fades, the universe sets practical limits we can't ignore. So we're left wondering, could there be planets drifting quietly out there unknown to us? simply because they lie beyond the sun's ability to hold on? Let's keep exploring, because as we dig deeper into the map of our solar system, we uncover a world far more complex and far more mysterious than we ever imagined. Let's zoom in on a cosmic map. At the center blazes the sun, the fiery torch fueling every form of life we know. Circling around it, eight familiar planets spin in steady orbits, from tiny, scorched Mercury all the way out to distant, deep blue Neptune. But here's the thing. The solar system doesn't end there. Far beyond lies the Kuiper Belt, 
a region home to millions of icy objects with strange exotic names. Pluto, Eris, Makemake. This is the zone where, back in 2006, astronomers fiercely debated, and ultimately, they decided that Pluto would no longer be called a planet. But what lies beyond that? We step into legendary territory, the Oort Cloud. No one has ever seen it directly. Everything we know comes indirectly. From the sudden appearance of comets plunging toward the inner system, like uninvited cosmic visitors. The Oort cloud may stretch from 2,000 astronomical units all the way out to nearly 100 zero AU, that's about two light years away. And unlike the Kuiper Belt's flat disk, the Oort cloud is believed to be a vast spherical shell, a shadowy bubble wrapping around the solar system, floating deep inside the heart of the Milky Way. At those distant edges, orbital speeds slow to a crawl, just 2.7 meters per second. That's barely faster than a person jogging compared to Earth's breakneck race around the sun at nearly 30 kilometers per second. It's mind-boggling. An object out there might take millions of years to complete a single orbit. If you were standing on one of those distant icy bodies, everything would feel almost frozen in time. And the sun? just a faint, pale star in the sky, hardly distinguishable from the countless others. And here's the astonishing part. We know almost nothing about what's really happening out there. How many objects are waiting, unseen? How many untold stories, how many cosmic mysteries are hidden at the edge? And where exactly does it all end? Where can we finally say, this is where the solar system stops? Let's keep going, because when it comes to the limits of the solar system, this story is only just beginning. Let's step into a fascinating thought. And on paper, nothing stops you from placing a planet infinitely far from the sun. Gravity weakens with the square of distance, yes, but it never fully disappears. In an empty universe, with nothing else to interfere, that far-off planet could keep circling the sun forever. Slowly. Patiently. Like a rusty clock hand, ticking away across billions of years. But here's the catch. The universe we live in isn't empty. About four light years away sits Proxima Centauri, the closest star to our sun. And it's not just sitting still. Stories across the Milky Way drift, wobble, and dance their slow dance around the galactic center, each one carrying its own gravitational pull. Once you cross the invisible boundary called the Sun's Hill Sphere, something changes. This is the region where the Sun's gravity is no longer dominant. Beyond that, other stars begin to take over. The planet out there is no longer securely bound to the Sun. It can be tugged away set loose as a rogue planet drifting silently between star systems, like a lost soul wandering the cosmic dark. But here's something even more fascinating. The hill sphere isn't a fixed number. It shifts over time. Depending on the sun's position, the movements of neighboring stars, and even subtle gravitational waves rippling through space. There's even a controversial hypothesis. Maybe, Long ago, our solar system had more outer planets. Distant worlds that, over billions of years, were stolen away by passing stars, leaving behind only the system we see today. If that's true, we're looking at an incomplete picture, a solar system that was once far richer and more complex than we realize. Now, imagine this. You're an astronaut stepping beyond the sun's hill sphere. Out there, you'd sense something hard to describe. The feeling that the sun no longer rules the sky. Instead, you're caught in a delicate gravitational tug of war between distant stars. A realm where orbits are fragile, where the slightest pull from across the galaxy could shatter a planet's path. And here's where the story turns dramatic. 
If those lost rogue planets still exist, will we ever find them? Could they one day return? Or are they doomed to remain as ghostly wanderers, forever drifting between the stars? Let's keep exploring, because the answers might just change the way we understand our solar system itself. Let's take a moment and close your eyes. Imagine standing on a planet at the farthest edge of the Oort cloud. In your sky, the sun is nothing more than a pale star, lost among millions of distant points of light. Around you stretches a frozen, silent world. So still, it feels like time itself has stopped. Out here, movement is incredibly slow. Your planet would take millions, maybe even billions of years to complete a single orbit around the sun. But here's the question. Could it hold on to that orbit for so long? Scientists have run some fascinating simulations. Gravitational waves from the galaxy, passing rogue stars, even tiny interactions with drifting molecular clouds could all disrupt this delicate balance. Just one slight nudge. A small collision or a faint pull from a nearby star could fling this planet out of the solar system entirely, turning it into a lonely wanderer drifting through interstellar space. And here's where things get really intriguing. What if Planet Nine, the hypothetical world some believe might exist out there, was once a lost wanderer itself, pulled back toward the sun by invisible cosmic disturbances? Now picture this. You're an astronaut aboard a spacecraft, drifting through this outermost frontier. You'd see the stars barely shifting, tiny dust particles hanging, seemingly frozen in the vast emptiness. And you'd know that even the slightest change in gravitational force could send you spiraling into a new orbit, or forever away from the place you once called home. It's possible that far beyond where we've ever looked, hidden worlds still orbit the sun, moving quietly through the dark. Planets we've never seen at distances we can only imagine Will we ever discover them? Or will we remain eternal observers, always wondering but never knowing? Let that question guide you, because this journey of discovery is far from over. Let's take a moment to reflect on something astonishing. The solar system has no clear border. There's no invisible wall separating inside from outside. Instead, it's a tangled web of gravitational forces. A place where the sun tries to hold on to what's its own, yet constantly feels the pull of neighboring stars. When we look at the solar system, we're not seeing a sealed, isolated system. We're seeing part of an open universe. A universe where everything exists in a constant tug of war, some controversial theories even ask, were there once planets that belonged to the sun but were stolen away by passing stars? Or maybe, somewhere out there, are there rogue planets? Worlds no longer bound to any star, drifting like lost ghosts through the vastness of the universe? Now imagine this, go aboard a spaceship gliding past the edge of the solar system, how would it feel knowing that a single small collision, a tiny tug from far off gravity, could change the fate of an entire planet or even your own? And then the bigger question echoes, how much do we really understand about our own home? How many secrets still lie hidden within the solar system? And how many have already been buried in the shadows of time and space? If this video sparks a thought, a question, or even just a sense of wonder at the vastness of the universe, share it with us in the comments. Here at Astro, we're always excited to read what you think. Because the journey of exploring the cosmos is never a one-person adventure. It's a story we're all writing together. And if you want to keep traveling with us on future journeys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. 
Every time we look up at the night sky, we're touching the unanswered questions of the universe. See you in the next video on this never-ending journey of knowledge and imagination